All right, everybody, welcome back into the channel. We got our submission to SGC back. Um, I did not do PSA just simply because of pricing and time. Um, it's much more affordable and uh, quick to send to SGC. I think it's only been maybe four weeks since I since I mailed it off and it's been uh, it's already back so this is the first submission I've ever done um, I've heard you know there's I, I watched online and there are you know things to look for and how to clean them and stuff like that but basically what I've heard is you kind of just have to do your submission and kind of just like a learning as go, so that's what we're doing. I cleaned everything, you know, the best that I thought I could, and we're just going to see, we're going to see what happens here. I, uh, I haven't looked on the map at what any of these got. It's available before I get them back, but I didn't want to know. Three tops big league of Gunnar Henderson. It looks it looked good to me. I don't know, I mean all the corners and stuff, but let's see what we got here. A ten. Amazing. This one honestly I submitted just for my personal collection. I just think it's a really freaking cool looking card. I enjoy that a lot, so hey. Got a 10. Alright. So this one looks like a, a rookie Johan Rojas from this year. Ooh, the yellow. That's right. Okay. I. So, I guess put down in the comments whether you. Which uh, grading companies slabs you like the best? I think I like SGC and Beckett better than PSA. I don't like the <coughs> red and whatever, and I like that these are like nice and framed and stuff in there. I think these look really clean. We got another 10. That's freaking awesome. I know that SGC's grades are usually worth less than the PSAs, but for the time and money, um, I think it was worth it to be able to get some of these back in a timely manner here. Alright, so the Aqua of Christian and Carnassian Strand. if they tell you as well, but, all right, Jason Dominguez, oh, well, I didn't cover that one well enough, 9.5, so I know PSA doesn't do half grades either, it's interesting, they can take off a half a point.
a signature card, a numbered card that I submitted. Too, because of the pricing and stuff that they're going for. Ah, oh, we got 110, baby. Let's go. Nice. Heck yeah. Stacks are back to even. This Kevin Durant card had a 99 to be honest. I did. I pulled right before I submitted. Submitted this one just for the PC. This is so much a cool card. The orange color match for the sun is gorgeous. And a 10. Heck yeah. That's sick. We can replace this guy now with the Katie slab. Dang. 
All right, guys, this one. The acetate clear to 10. Marco Luciano, this one. I could not wait to see what it graded in. I have no idea. But that looks sick in this lab. basically a plastic card. How does a plastic card have? Unless it's like a scratch or something. What the frick? Oh, man. So an SGC 9.5, it's probably like an 8 in PSA, maybe a 9. Yikes. Hey, it's not a total not a total bust. We got some tens. And we got a 10 on the PC card for KD. So we got five tens out of 14. It is what it is, man. But first PSA submission. Uh, I mean, the ones I got eight on, I'll have to look at again. And it's probably those ed the edges along the side there. They look a little rough. Those came out of the pack that way. Tough man. Nine fives. Ugh. What knocked it down half a grade? fun hope you guys enjoyed my first ps or my first graded submission um don't forget to like and subscribe leave a comment um if you enjoyed it or not or what you think the either the best card or coolest card i still think that's a sick card Alright guys, 